You know already? Okay, so you know what's your nationality then? Why are you calling yourself Barbados? If you know we went into slavery and the Lord was speaking to the Israelites. Let me show you the Lord was speaking to you. Because in Deuteronomy 28 68, he said you shall go into slavery or Egypt, which is slavery, on ships. Let's find out who the audience is. This is Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who's Moses speaking to? Israel. So the people that went to slavery are who? Israelites. And the people's not done away with. Let me prove that in Ecclesiastes. You haven't been to the Caribbean once? Never been to the Caribbean. I need to go. Let me tell you a fact. Yeah? No. Some of that is true, right? In the Caribbean, we come from different tribes, so you can find different sets of Caribbean people, no, different no. types of Africans, right? Right, right? From all over. That's not not just Israelites. Right, right. They mix all over. Well, the thing is, the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites. The Africans are the ones that sold us into slavery. Most of the Africans, we've got our people in Africa, in Nigeria, and in Ghana, the Shanti tribe. But the Hamites now, I don't know if you saw a video the other day, there's a Nigerian man apologizing for slavery. That like, man was a real man. Right? Oh, no. In Africa, right, you are all separated, right? So if you look at it positive, you're different. You're all different, right? 100%. So that actually brought us to the Caribbean, now we know in the Caribbean, we never lived together. So you can take some good from it, you got some bad from it. Barbados, Jamaica, Trinidad. Yeah, you know, we enslaved ourselves. No, we didn't. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you about the people first. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 16. There is no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. So there's regeneration. You come back here in a third or fourth generation. Right? You understand? Let me ask you a question, right? One second, one second. I'm not finished. Yeah, I you come back here. I can take care so why do you think you can talk to someone? Oh, where do I know that person from? It's spiritual. You was with them before in your past life. You can't remember it. Right? So you said we sold our own people to slavery. Let's find out we sold our own people to slavery. Did we do the No, no, no. It was Hamites. Did you not do the hundred It was Hamites selling Israelites into slavery to the white man. We didn't enslave ourselves. Let me show you. Why? Let me show you. Because we already slavery didn't start from it. Wait, man. We no. enslave ourselves. Yeah, why? Why? why did we enslave ourselves? Sister, there been a reason. sister. It's the same thing, like slaves of war, slaves of war. We were warring amongst ourselves in different tribes. Yeah, and why were we warring? Listen to this. Uh, we still fight ourselves in together to the Israelis. Listen we to this. Then, it's the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 3. And they have cast lots, lots from our people. So they cast lots, like, like you flick a coin and say, Right, they cast lots for my people, and I've given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, the Hamites, the Africans, all the coast of Palestine, Africans again, yet will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold, and I've carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. The children of the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. So the so-called Africans, you are the Hamites, sold the Israelites to the so-called white man for silver. For Go to the Mirrors. Caribbean, man. Go to the Caribbean. Don't just read everything. King, King. Go to the Caribbean. King. Go, go In the Caribbean, Africa. we had a man called Desmond Decker who sang about the Israelites. You know about Desmond Decker? Yeah. Yes. He sang about the Israelites yeah. and they shut him down. Go to the Caribbean, man. But are you listen to what I'm saying, okay? He sang about the Israelites. What I'm saying is that you just can't believe everything you read. No, Something we got, you read, then you got facts. We've got and then people you got in Jamaica. Okay. Yes. We've got people in Jamaica. Well, when you read, then you have facts, and then you've got the world you live in, right? So for you to have an understanding, you have to understand everything. And that's why I said we've got people in Jamaica. That just, can't have, the, just can't have one of course. Yeah. That's why I said we've got people in Jamaica who are saying the same thing. But you two should have your own personal You understand? We're going to go there, but listen. When I went to go there, guess what happened? Coronavirus came. So I couldn't go there. But what's that to do with? Our, our history in the Bible. No, but still, God. there's only one people that went that's into the slave ship. That's one set of history. But there's only one people that went into the slave ship. The Israelites. So, without shadow of a doubt, we are the Israelites. The only people that don't want to know who they are, want to kill each other, want to shake their bum, carnival. That's the people in the Bible. All of us are not Israelites. I didn't say we're all Israelites. I said the chosen are the Israelites. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you've got one minute, we can tell you what the Lord requires of you and show you even more proof that we're the Israelites. If you've got one minute, Barbados is what they named. They named it Barbados King. You're Israelite, repent. Uh, you need to, you need to, you need to
not what somebody else is telling you. You pay your expenses. See, my son, last year for the first time, I've been to Nigeria too many times, but for the first time when he's 27, I bought his tickets to go on the plane, go meet the guys. And he said it's the best thing I've done in his own life. Yeah, that's true, we are. But he experienced it. So it's not me telling him what yeah, Nigeria is yeah, yeah. like. He experienced it. You understand? Come yeah. back talking in pigeon English. I'm like, wow, okay, son. But yeah, it's personal experience. That's good. Now we do want to go back to our, our home country. Check but guess out. what? Our original homeland is Israel. And the Lord's going to put us back in Israel. But we do want to go back to Jamaica to see what it's going to be. See what the history is. See what the spices are. See what the We want to go back. When you go, trust me, you be like, why have we been here for this time? You've been eating your head like, I should have been here a long time. I took too long. But let me, let me bring this up to you, to what the brother didn't understand, how they named these places after their own names. This is Psalm chapter 49 verse 11. Their inward thought, meaning inside their mind, is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places for all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Jamaica, Nigeria. Nigeria was always called Nigeria. And even the black, green, white, and green. Wasn't that before? They changed it. This is why we're trying to show the thing, but it's only for brothers to wake up. Sometimes they need another brother, like you see the brother telling them then, moving to them there. Sometimes you need another brother to talk to. Not all the time one person to kind of wake someone up. Uh, it's ultimately down to the Most High, but hey, Most High willingly repents, keeps the commandments as it is, like not a Barbadian, and Most High willingly wakes up, gets some fringes on, to come back to the Most High. This is the last one, yeah? This is First Corinthians chapter three verse six. I have planted upon this water, but the Most High gave the increase. So it's the Most High is going to give the increase to that brother if, when he goes home. Realize this is history, but you have to keep the commandments. It's the most side, not me doing anything. I planted this a minute ago and told him, Look, we're the Israelites. This brother is watering, he's giving the top up, but it's the most side that gives the increase. The most side willing to see him with fringes on his garments, the beard on his face, put down the vaping. But you should, yeah, well, that's what it is. Yeah, but big by big, you can't come too hard on them as well. Yeah. And then that's it, but, but what are the that's the last thing I said to you. Unless yeah, you want some more. No, huh? I've got to go now. I've got to go. Right, so, right. Thank you very much. And then it's a place to go home. Just go and check out. It's good for you to go to other countries. Yeah, 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 but yeah. when you stay stuck here, <laughs> I'm telling you. But let me tell you one thing, sister. Even though I was born here and I've never been to another country, I've never ever laid down on a sofa white with her. That's good. Yeah, is that? I never ever um, had lobster. Yeah, but I've lived in my trip for 11 years and then I come back. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Now, I wish I never came back. To I never had no lobster Straight before. Down there. Yeah, that's sister. I never oh, had certain yeah. stuff. I yeah. never done certain stuff. I just yeah. knew it wasn't right. Yeah, but you still need when to I, travel though. Yeah, no, I'm going to travel. Go Please back to Jamaica. Yeah, sister, I need to go back to Jamaica. See that? Yeah. See the land. Yeah, yeah. sister. Yeah. See that? A lot of people are lost, you know. They're lost. Is that what we're talking about? Ooh. And when I was young, I used to have a cross around my neck. It didn't feel right. I took it off. The scripture says it's an idol. The cross is an idol. Yeah. Right, I can show you that, but I said that's the last thing. No, but everything is created by man. Everything's created by man. These idols, idol graven images. No, I don't graven images. And the Bible speaks against that. The Lord speaks, speaks against that. The air that we breathe is, is by, it's by the creator. You understand? I only trusted in. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank so you so much. Like you Dresses, like. skirts. Get fringes on your garments. I wear my Nigerian clothes. And they put fringes my on it. They have fringes. They naturally come with fringes. But it, has it got a border blue? They have all kind of colours. Okay, no, but I'm they, saying, even though it's got fringes, has it got the border? You see, listen, right? The border see, blue. If you were sister, troubled, sister in the brown jacket, come in the word of the Lord. If you were troubled, you would know there's certain kind of material fabric that we wear. But because you don't trouble, you don't know. You're still insisting about the gold fringe. It's Look not gold. Oh, he's got gold. black. Look, yeah. Isn't any colour. Color. Yeah, it is any colour, but that's what I'm saying. If you if you broaden your knowledge in terms of what do Nigerian, the tribes, and like what do they wear, yeah. trust me, all this, that you, what we wear, sister, ain't got nothing. You, you sister, what we wear, sister, trust me. you can wear the fancy garments because we got fancy garments in no, Israel, fancy. In, in America, no, or expensive fancy. garments. You just got to have fringes on no, it. No, no, get fancy. I don't do designer and, and clothes and all that. I mean the quality. The quality is good. No, quality and it's African Nigerian fabric. But remember, we're the Israelites. We understand yeah. it, sister. The Lord's. Hey, turn your face, man. Who's looking at it like that? What's wrong with her? Like she's going to go turn it or something. 
Anyway, so anyway, sister, you can have your Nigerian garments, just put fringes on. Sometimes I wear the shiki. The material comes like that naturally. But has I, don't, it got, I don't need to put fringes because it comes with fringes. What brace in the most And, you, and it, has it got a border of blue as well? It comes with everything. Okay, okay, what brace in the most yeah, That's all I want to make sure, sister. It just don't come with rainbow So next time I see you, next time we see you, most I will let me see with your fringes on, with a border of blue. Because I come out well, to wear it every day. Unfortunately, because I'm in England, it won't allow me to wear it, 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 it. my. No, I don't think what I have on my heart, but what I'm saying, the way really like how my mum's been dressed, you can't dress like that in the winter. You have to wear the stupid dress. You wear a dress on the. Um, so, yeah, but I, have to, I have to keep warm, yeah. But I have to keep warm, because I can't take the temperature. When it comes to coldness, I can't. My blood ain't wet. My blood ain't designed for it, you understand? But when I'm in home, my home from Nigeria, yes. We're good to go. Right. But thank you. May the Lord keep you, the greater keep you always. You're protected from so the crown you of your head so to you. the tip of your fingers to the sole of your feet. The left of you, the right of you, the front of you, the back of you. Covered, surrounded by the Lord indefinitely forever. The both of you. And I'm so grateful that I'm with you guys. Same to you, I really sister. Uh, I feel Same like. You. No, That's I'm, what I'm I saying. I won the lottery. It's good. That's right. good. The sister says she feels like you won the lottery. I'm Put blessed. the camera on the sister. <laughs> I feel like I want the lottery. These brothers are great. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, the Mosai is good. The Mosai is him we give the honor to you and the glory to you. That he made us meet. Thank right? you. We don't take no um, glory, no boasting for ourselves. Because any man thinks he knows anything, he knows nothing. Right. Right? We have to study every day. So Mosai willing sister. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Put your dress in your skirt, thank you. leggings under. Thank you. Natural attire. And wait, what's your homeland? Because you remember how we got to Nigeria? Remember how we got to Jamaica? What's your Jerusalem. homeland? Jerusalem! Galatians 4 26. You're Israelite. Shalom, sister. Thank you. Shalom. God bless you. Alright, and that's what we come out here for. We love that. To see our sisters waking up, man. Right? Coming back to the natural heritage. Right? Knowing they're the Israelites. God's chosen people above all people, man. Right? Yeah. Slavery today as well. I still, I, I still got to work. Nine to five, I got to work Monday to Friday. So, um, so for white people. What's this? Anyway, go on, like short. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Not for me. I'm Christian. I'm Christian. No. So listen, let me. I'm gonna break down Egypt. What Egypt means? I know what you're doing in Egypt. This is Exodus chapter twenty, verse two. I'm the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You know what bondage is? Bondage is some slavery in it. We're doing tactics today with people that are working 9 to 5. We've got um, go to oppressors to buy our food, like fruits, um, akin saltfish, um, yam, planting, etc. We've got to go to oppressors. And even, even, even when you're dying, you've got to um, you go to your oppressors to get um, basically like, get a death certificate to go bury um, your dead mum or dead, but dead relative or whoever dies in it. You've got to go to your oppressor in it. And basically, you've got to go to your oppressor for everything, basically, in it. So, yeah. So, curse is basically on um, people and um, serve our enemies in this, in this wicked kingdom, innit? But don't worry about that. When the Mosai returns it, the Mosai is going to put us back into the kingdom, innit? Only if we keep them, the commandments of the Mosai, keep the commandments. So, um, we eat um, 
Sabbath day is a, a, the most high's um, holy day, man. Not meant to be working, not meant to be buying, selling, man. Not to be doing your own pleasure. You can't even have sex on the Sabbath day, innit? The most I said that. I'm meant to um, um, gather with like minded brothers or sisters, don't gather with like minded sisters, and basically keep the commandments, innit? And go over the scriptures together, and basically that's, that's, that's all that word is, innit? Keep the most high's commandments, innit? Like, this, this whole kingdom is super destroyed, so you know, you see what's happening. Um, Russia, Ukraine, the world back, back and forth with war and so that we've got to keep the commandments about this. We've got to keep the commandments about this. We've got to keep the Do you believe you are Israelite? No, you're Israelite. So, let me show you this. Our people went to slavery on the slave ship. The Lord said he's speaking to the children of Israel. So who are the only people that went to slavery on the slave ship? The children of Israel. So if your people suffered all that, and they wasn't called Sarah Lord, they wasn't called Nigeria, they wasn't called Ghanaian, and the Lord said he's speaking to the children of Israel, who might you be if the Lord said he's speaking to the children of Israel and they went to slavery, they go to all of shooting each other down the streets, women shaking their bum on Instagram, all type of madness, um, serving other gods, having crosses around their neck, saying I don't care, I don't believe in God. What only people do that? Oh, black people, so called black, because the last time I checked, your trousers are black. What colour is your hand if you put your hand against your trousers? What colour is your hand? Put it against your trousers. And say that with a straight face. What colour is your hand? What colour is your trousers? And your hand black. Look at your hand and look at your trousers, kid. Say it again, say it again. So your hand black, the same colour as your trousers. It's not the same, what colour is your hand? Brown! Now we're getting somewhere. You see how they make us think that we're black and we're not black? Because if you go Heathrow or Gatwick, you can't take a plane to the land of black, can you? Is there a place where they go, oh, this is the land of black, they cook, they have powdered yam, acting saltfish, planting, there is no land of black. They play a, a, a toy on words, like they're not white, they're red. When the sun turns on, what do they turn? Red or pink, which is the derivative of red. That's what we're trying to show you. This is your history book. You have to keep the commandments as an Israelite. Not a Serenonian, not African American, not a Caribbean, not a Dominican, not a Colombian. Right? This is all the terms our people use. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is a language, Israel is a country. And we're Israelites. Right? We make up 
talk to Ali Bizzo, God shows them people. So when you go home, I've got a lesson for you to go over. Watch the film Prince of Egypt. It's a cartoon film. Easy. Prince of Egypt. Pharaoh let my people go. You seen that cartoon before? The Egyptians and they're beating the they're beating the people, they're making the, the pyramids for them. You ain't seen that before. Right, so you're not black, you'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. The same tribe as Jesus Christ. You know who they call Jesus Christ? You know who that is? You know Jesus Christ. And what who's this what they say about Jesus Christ? That he's a what? He's a what? He's the son of God. Right? So let me show you how Christ looks the Bible. Let me give you a flyer, that's it. Right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. This is Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, who we even call Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Right, let me jump to the point, verse 14. And his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. A flame of fire. Mosai's facing Mosai, it looks like us and it's a so-called uh, black people, not Jesus Christ, it looks like us. Uh, Jesus Christ ain't a so-called white person that has blue eyes or uh, doggy stringy hair like that like woman over there, man. Mosai looks like, um, Mosai's got the same um, hair like you, you know, got nice woolly hair and that, um, woolly hair like the Mosai and so that. Mosai, if you've got, um, you've got a poster of the Mosai in the um, house and that, the um, white Jesus and that, you need to throw it away, man. Like, that's the devil, the devil that Mosai is talking about, isn't it? the devil, man. And his feet like of the fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Most of his feet was um, like brass in it, like, like so if you like put like a, um, your pizza in the oven, it's like you might burn it in it. What colour is the pizza gonna be if you burn the pizza? It's gonna be black in it, so like most of the so-called black man. In the trap of Judah. Now, how did Christ look now? Now you've got the understanding. You know how Christ looked? How did he look? Why? So you have to read it again for him. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. And his head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool? Like, what's wool? What kind of people in the earth have woolly hair? Like you, you've got woolly hair, like, touch your hair, like. How's it feel? Touch your hair. Woolly hair. Like sheep hair, like, yeah. nice and soft. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And his feet like a fine brass. Brass, what colour what, um, what is brass? As if they burned in a furnace. When you put um, like, your macaroni, macaroni and cheese, say from that, like, you know, when you put your, like, your toast in the oven, innit? you burn it, innit? what colour is the toast going to be? Um, like, say if you burn it properly when it's um, all like, when the smoke goes off and the alarm goes off, like, what, what colour is the uh, pizza and all the um, toast going to be if you burn it black? So, like, more side was, uh, not more side. I'll take those. So, what colour is it going to be? What colour is it going to be? Black in it, so um, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Really cool, um, Yahushai right. from um, the tribe of Judah, um, right. the so-called black man, and the black man, yeah. So, what's your um, nationality? What's your nationality? What, who, who you are in the Bible? Huh? No, you're Israelite, man. In the tribe of Judah, you're Israelite. You're not no black man. You're not no uh, niggas. None right. of that stuff, man. You're God's chosen people. You're king, man. You're above all these so-called white people that stand you. Up and up and to and fro, man. Above all these assassinations. Who, who, who you will be? Who, who do you be in the Bible? Let me get. Quick, bring it up. This is Daniel chapter ten and verse five. I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a man clothed with linen, with a belt of fine gold, from Euphrates, around his waist. His body was like the beryl. His face like the appearance of lightning. His eyes like the flame of torches, his arms and his legs like the gleam of br burnished bronze, and the sound of his voice was like the sound of multitudes. That's just talking about Christ and how his hands, his arms, and his legs were burnished bronze, and that color is so called brown, right? That's how he was described. So, if Christ was a black man, what, and Christ was a Judah, 
what would that make you from the tribe, from the nation of Israel? That make you what? Black? Nah, man, that make you Israelite, brother. He just stayed describing her as brown, brown skin, but his nationality was a Judite from the nation of Israel. You see what I'm saying? So you, you would be a what? Is Israelite. Okay, okay. Okay, you're getting it. Go on here. Any precepts? Let me get to my precepts, I'm gonna let you off. Let me get 2 Corinthians chapter 20. No, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Um, yeah. You can look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Are they Hebrews? Are they who? Are they Hebrews? Right. So am I. Sad. Are they Israelites? Are they who? Are, Are they, they Israelites? Israelites? Right. So, so am I. I. Are they seed of Abraham? So am I. Right, man. Plain and simple, most I say we're Israelites, we're Hebrew Israelites, man. Woo. You'll be an Israelite from the tribe of um, Judah, I'll be an Israelite from the um we'll be an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, innit? So like yeah man. That's a um that's a um, nationality, man. You're not no black man, you're not no um African American, you're not none of that stuff, you're not no niggas. Right, when right, you go right, home, right. tell your parents, your mum, your dad, right, tell them that they're Israelites also, innit? Right, right. And then give you a flyer and let you go. The flag, but the YouTube channel's at the bottom. So you click and subscribe. Um, the video I'm doing now is going to be uploaded on YouTube later, so click and subscribe and get the video. So, what's your nationality? You can't let this go back to the family. What's your nationality? I'm quite a bit here. I'm quite a bit here. I'm an Israelite! Right. That's your nationality. Hebrew Israelite. A Hebrew Israelite. You don't be scared. Right. Let the whole world hear Bold. you, man. Right? Because the Lord said you're above all people. I don't think we brought that out. Come on, we've got to bring that out. Right, this is Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord said we're above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. Right? All these other nations want to be like us. They want hair like you. Why do you think when Halloween comes, they have the fake afro? They really desire to be like you. These people are evil, man. Even at work, hey, they made a drawing of a brother with a chain around his neck and glasses. And this is how you know they envy us. They want to be like us, but they can never be like us. They can never go through what we went through. Right? No nation can go through a slave ship and come out and invent so much inventions that we invented. We invented the filament in the light bulb. We invented the stoplight. Right? Look at this. I don't know if you can see. He's got a man with a chain around his neck and glasses. See that? Wickedness of our people, of, of the other nations, man. Yeah, they no, desire that's to wicked be like still. us. They want skin like us, but the sun burns them and hates them. What? Right? It's not a clear picture, but yeah. hey, it is what it is. Bring closer. Nah, they can't see it. Glare. But yeah, it's just an uh, uh, image of them trying to paint us with the broad nose, the chain around his neck, the hat backwards, the glasses on. Hey, we, we are cool. We're the definition of cool, man. When you look up who you see us, the hip hop artists, the dancers, the cookers, the cooks. You can cook like your mum, you can cook like your auntie. You understand? No one in it. We put flavour. These people have their meat raw. They like red meat. They're red. And the Bible condemns them. This is why anytime someone gets shot down the streets, who's it more likely? Our people. They get shot down in the streets. Not them, they're living their best life. But guess what? Their world is coming to an end and our world is about to begin. Right? So all you have to do is repent as an Israelite, keep the commandments. We don't want to give you too much because you're young. Do your research, get your Bible. You got a Bible at home? Get your pocket file, which is taken out of the Bible. If you get a 6 and 11, I don't know what they teach you in school, but this is what Roman numerals are. You understand Roman numerals? You do. So get a King James Version 6 and 11, which has got this, it's got the pocket in it and the Bible in it. So these are Roman numerals, like the XV and the IV. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Not really. So then let's get the Bible with the prophet. You wanna take a picture of this? You know it, yeah? Okay, cool. Red hey, leave after. the woman alone, man. It's a blessing, yeah? Leave the woman alone. It's about oppressing our people, man. Bro, it's just walking after her. Hey! Sisters! You believe in the Lord? With the cane rolls, with the braids. Come in the word of the Lord, sister. Right? Wickedness, man. Last piece of the here. Oh, you got one more. Okay, let me get one first. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 7. This is St. John, 
chapter 1, verse 7. This is St. John, chapter 1, verse it's like 46. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip saith unto him, Come and see. Yahweh saw Nathanael and said, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no God. An Israelite indeed. So he said, Behold, I'll read it again for you. And Yahweh said, saw Nathanael coming to him and saith of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no God. So Christ saw Nathanael and said, Behold, there's an Israelite in whom there's no God. Right? There's no wrongdoing. Nothing. That, and, and that means he, he did what? He kept the law. Kept the law. Right? right? In the beginning, that's why I got 46, the spirit, the reason why I got 46. He said, can any good thing come out of um, Nazareth? Christ knew his whole story. He said, behold, an Israelite in who there is no God. Right, right. Nothing. He got a garment white, keeping the commandments, as the king right. said. Right? Same with, same with John the Baptist's John parents, the Baptist Zachariah and, um, and um, Elizabeth. John. They were blameless in the law, it says. Blameless. Kept the commandments. He said, yeah, the last piece that up. Uh, let me get um, Deuteronomy 25 verse 17. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 25, verse 17. Remember what Amalek, what Amalek did unto thee by the way. Remember who? Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when you were come forth out of Egypt. How he met thee by the way and smote the hindermost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee. When I was faint and weary, and he feared not the Most High, therefore it shall be when the Lord thy power hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about in the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee for inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou shalt not forget. Oh man, basically, like when he was an Egypt, when our forefathers in slavery, and because he's basically Egyptian, and he basically that like, um, had us in bondage, and had us in slavery, so like. And the Most High returns back onto Earth, man. The Most High is gonna put we um, heathens, we um, Egyptians, man, we fake um, Jews, man. That's in the land, man. Put we Jews back into sla slavery, innit? Because like the Most High only gave gave you a certain amount of time to be living up on this Earth, innit? So that like, when the Most High returns back into the Earth, man, the Most High gonna put you um, other heathens in slavery, innit? Because that like, so-called white people have been um, living up too comfortably on um, this Earth for way way too long, innit? So, way like, too comfortably. so when the Most High returns, we ugly sheep and like, dumb devils are going to slavery. When the Most High returns, innit? Cause, Huh. Get sick of me, devils. Get sick of wake up early in the morning, slave my ass off to work. Even though um, I know my man is a, a Jake as well, but um, the, his, his bosses, um, his bosses, his bosses, the um, the Edomite, and, 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 and I see him as well. There you have the devil. The Bible speaks about devil, man. the devils, the huh. man devil, and the woman devil. Right, man. Right. Even, exactly. yeah, it's like, even when I'm working, and I always see, see this Edomite telling my, um, my, my Jake man what to do, innit? Would tell them boss around saying, nah, you got to do that right, and you um, can't um, do, um, move that delivery like that, you got to put in the left properly, and, and it's obviously like, you can't shout at him because he's just doing his job, and it's so, like, that's good to confirm, and it's conform, and it's like, basically listen to them, and so that, like, yeah, man, so, soon, soon go to scrap even and also returns, and so that, like, keep on living out, keep on um, buying your nice cars, keep on buying your nice, um, um, keep going on holidays, keep on buying your nice cars, man, keep on doing whatever you're doing, keep on buying your nice um, houses and that, man, keep on living on this, on this captivity. When the Mosai return, everything's going to get destroyed. Sorry when the Mosai return, because even in the, the site I'm working, I'm working at Batsy and at the power station, and, and basically, like, um, because of Oakland yesterday, and I see all these um, Arab people, all these um, more, more bats, all these um, Edomites, man, getting happy because it's on the face is open, and everything's going to get destroyed when the Mosai return, and, and even got, um, basically, like, Cops and cars called Genesis, isn't it? Basically taking the piss out of the Mosai and trying to name cars after the um, after um, the first um, first book of um, the, the Bible, naming name the cars Genesis. And that. But everything's going to get destroyed when the Mosai returns, so that that and close that and give it to the next Mark night speaker and say, Shalom. Kwame Shalom. Kwame Shalom.